Today, the question is about roach infestation. You have guests and they come and they stay for a week and they eat potato chips and cookies and stuff all over the house and they leave crumbs and that encourages roaches. How do you get rid of the roaches? There are about four different ways that we can prevent roaches from coming in. The first one is an exterior barrier of pest control that a pest control service can come put on the perimeter of your apartment or your building or your home. Now, I would recommend that you have this done on a regular basis. And as an Airbnb owner, this is going to be one of your tax deductible business expenses. It is not an option for guests to come to your house and have your house infested with roaches. That is not a good thing. And this will help get rid of the bed bugs and the roaches and anything else that is kind of common to the Airbnb industry. All right, so an exterior barrier of pest control. And that's the outsides of the houses, that's the awnings, that's the ground. It's all the area around your crawl spaces. It's, it's an exterior perimeter barrier. All right, the next one is to close up all of the vents. So there are vents in the crawl spaces around your house and there are mice that can chew through those and they can climb in and come up through the pipes and what have you. There are a lot of old homes that are built from 1900 to 1930 and the mice can get right into the pipes in a lot of these older homes because of the way the homes were built and they will come right up through the sinks and the tubs, and they will come in and they will eat all the crumbs and any food they can find. So you wanna make sure that all of the areas around the outside of your house are sealed and blocked. And we did this exercise in my own home. We went around with some silicone and we plugged up all of the holes where snakes or mice could get in. And then in the little grates in the crawl space, we took some chicken wire, I think it's called hardware cloth, I will leave links to it in the show notes so that you can see what I'm talking about. But we just cut little squares of it and then we used zip ties to replace and repair all of the vents where mice had chewed through. So it's a way to prevent in a humane manner them just from coming in your house at all because you want to prevent roaches and mice and bugs and critters and all that stuff. And so when you have crumbs, and crumbs is the key word here, you're going to have all kinds of stuff that come in. All right, another thing that you can do is you can have a pest service come inside your house and they can fumigate for eggs. And so if that is the case, I would either block some time out on your calendar where you're not having guests come in because after they fumigate, there's a period of time, it's usually a week, where bugs will just appear out of nowhere. So they eat the poison and then they kind of like crawl out and they come out to visible spaces and they die a slow, horrible death and you'll just find them on your carpets. So that's super gross, right? You don't want guests coming in and there are little dead bugs everywhere. Now, there are times when cleaning companies have come in and they found all the bugs and they've cleaned everything up. Then they leave and new guests come in and there are new dead roaches on the floor and they take pictures and they're like, ah. Okay, so you gotta be careful of that. I would just block out the calendar week and not have any guests come so that you can make sure all of that is eradicated. All right, the next option is to, and this is really a simple solution, but to have a closet that is available to the guests. And this is a cleaning closet. And so in this closet, I would put a vacuum and a mop and a broom and a bucket of cleaning supplies. Now, here's the reality. There are lots, lots of Airbnb owners across the country that will go stay at other Airbnb owners' places. And instead of just giving you a bad rating and review, they know what you're going through. So they walk in and they see something, they're like, this is not acceptable. And they'll call the host and the host is like, ah, we just fumigated a week ago. We thought we'd cleared everything up. The host will be like, hey, no problem. I'll just vacuum up what I see. And so it gives them the opportunity to vacuum up if there are some bugs or something. Also, if there are guests and they do leave a mess, they have five, six, eight people in there and they're having pizza and food and crackers and cookies and chips and whatever, and they leave chips everywhere, it gives a chance for them to go ahead and clean up after themselves. There are lots of people, if they're gonna be there for a week, they don't want crumbs and stuff all over for a week. And you can just let them know, hey, there's a vacuum in this closet so that if you leave a mess or something, you can vacuum it up so that bugs and stuff don't come in. Nobody wants bugs and ants and roaches and stuff to come in and eat their food. That's just icky, right? So leave them, leave them the opportunity that they can clean up after themselves. Now, most people don't want to come to your house to clean. That's not what they're coming to do. They're coming to hang out and have a good time. But I've gone to plenty of Airbnbs over the years where when I walk in, my husband is the first to bring out the vacuum and the cleaning caddy and, hey, I found this in the kitchen, this might be helpful. And I'm like, yeah, as a matter of fact, we need to wipe a few things down. 
So if it's not up to standard, your place certainly should be, but give the guests the option. You, they're not coming to clean, but give them the option. So have a cleaning closet. And the, the Shark Duo, the Rocket Duo, is kind of the product that's recommended for guests. It's lightweight, it has great suction, it's easy for guests to use. I'll leave links in the show notes to that as well, so you can just see a list of everything that I'm talking about. But that would make it easy for a guest to help you keep you know, rid of bugs and stuff like that. If for any reason you get complaints about bugs, that is something you absolutely have to deal with. And so that's either going to be a discount to the customer or a refund of their money. So paying very, very close attention to the way that you handle and treat for pests and bugs and roaches and rodents is crucial to your income as an Airbnb owner. So if you have a roach infestation, block out your calendar right now and get rid of all of that. Put out your perimeter barriers so that it doesn't happen again, and then leave an option for your guests so that they can clean up after themselves, which will discourage bugs from coming in. 